Okay, the other day we created one API using DB first approach, database first approach. Now to that, I added a HTML page. So the page gets opened when I give like this API slash home. The page is coming up here. Okay. Whatever offices we have, they are going to be added to drop down here. Dynamically, these are getting added. So from API, we are retrieving it and we are adding. So for that purpose, we use here jQuery. jQuery is one such JavaScript library. With the help of that, you can do DOM, that is document object model manipulation. You can do with the help of the jQuery. So jQuery, I downloaded and kept in my system, in my, that means in local system, so that I'm going to access here using this one script, src, static, in the static folder only, we should have this jQuery.js. Okay, so this file is getting added here, jQuery.js, jQuery latest version I downloaded, kept in the static folder. Even the HTML page I kept in the static folder because these are static resources. Okay, images, then similarly styles. Okay, JavaScript, even whatever uh, HTML pages you create, they can be in the static folder. So for that purpose, you need to enable, like uh, if you come to program.cs, So we need to add that particular static files feature. app.use static files, new static file options, file provider, physical social uh, physical file provider. So path.combine, builder.environment dot content road path, static, request uh, path actually here, static. So with the help of this, I'm adding here static folder. So in the static folder, there are two files. One is index.html, the other one is jQuery.js. Okay, so I am rendering now the index.html. Once it is rendered, so once this is rendered, okay, so here you can change the root name, slash home. Okay, so right side, I have a form and the left side, I have existing offices drop down. Okay, so here, these are getting added dynamically. Tomorrow, if we add one more office that comes in this. And here, there is a provision to add a new office. Okay, so using existing code, you can do that. For this, you have an API. So in the API, if you come to offices controller.cs, you can find in this various methods. Like first one is get method. With the help of this, we retrieve the existing offices. And using uh, here get ID, particular office information we can retrieve. So when you go with the put method, you can modify the existing office details. Okay. Similarly, when you go with the post method, a new office can be added. Okay, last one is here, delete. If you want to delete an office, you can delete. So like this, we have the verbs in this. These are called as HTTP verbs or methods. So with the help of that, you can access a resource from the like web API. Okay, so here, if you come to HTML page, I'm retrieving here. So here, get offices. For getting offices, this code I have written. Here, Ajax, dollar dot Ajax. Ajax stands for asynchronous JavaScript and XML. URL is this one. Okay, type is get method. Data type is JSON. Okay, upon success, what I do here, I'm retrieving every element from the uh, given uh, JSON array. Okay, so data is going to contain JSON array. One by one element I'm retrieving using for each loop. Then I am creating one options text string at the end I'm appending to the offices. So offices is basically a select. 
if you come to offices, this is select here. Select ID equal to offices, style width 200 px. Initial value select, its value is minus 1. Okay, so to that we are appending new ones. So ultimately, it is rendering in that manner here. So select is coming, then it is adding other offices. So this is for the retrieval. In the same manner, to add a new office, I have written code. Okay but it doesn't work now, we need to change it. Slight change is required in this case, then that's going to be working. So here, something is missing, localhost 7243 URL, offices, post method, data is form data, data type JSON. Then upon success, what happens? That means it, uh, it's same, you can assume like that. Otherwise it goes into error part. Okay, so using this piece of mechanism, this piece of code, you can, add data to the database. In the database, what we have, if you come to like uh, home controller, offices controller, okay. So here, post method. Post method is in the bottom. It is await underscore context dot save changes async it is. It is adding offices, uh, ex uh, whatever office you are sending, it's getting added to this. Underscore context dot offices dot add office so with this, this is going to save. You don't write a single SQL query here. So without that, you are in a position to save this. Okay, but there is some issue in this. If you can resolve, that would be good. Office code we take here, then similarly, city, then phone, then address line one, address line two, state, country, postal code, territory, and employees. So we enter data this way, so this is ultimately going to save in the database without much effort from our side. So we don't write an SQL query using existing ORM feature. Automatically, this is going to be getting added to database. So here in the index.html, we are retrieving data using get offices method and using add new office, we should be in a position to add the new office. Okay, so this is basically jQuery, $.ajox. So with jQuery, you can do such manipulations. And if you look in this HTML, for every uh, element, we have an ID of code, then city, text, sorry, address line one, address line two, state, country, postal code, territory. So like this, we have the IDs for every text box. Okay, so this side, it is labels. When you see here, these are all labels and this is text box. So whatever you add here, that must be, like after adding this one, when you click on the save, it must save in the database. And even for this validations are required without entering office code or city, address line one, address line two. If we try to save, this should give error. All are mandatory. So you need to write validation for all this. When you click on the save, if it's not having proper data, then in such cases, it should not save, it should not call the API. Okay, but when you have data, in that case, the API must be getting called. So like this, you can use here the jQuery. This is a new feature, jQuery. So using jQuery, you can perform asynchronous operations. So first one, this is post method and the other one is here, get method. So using get, we are retrieving and here using post method, we are just trying to add a new office. Okay, and this must be part of the script. Here you have script. Okay, once document is ready, you need to call this dollar document dot ready function get offices second thing here dollar btn save dot click function add new office we have to call the adding of new office here so like this you must be adding a new office so first you need to create a json string here you're creating here json string then that data you're sending form data this is you're sending here to the api if everything is fine it's going to save, otherwise it's going to report error. Probably some error we have in this. So what is that error? We need to 
find and rectify that. So using jQuery, we can do like this. When I try to run, this is giving error. Okay, it's not working properly. I try to enter seven, then go with the Hyderabad city, address line Mindspace, Madhapur, then state, TG, country India, post code six, seven, territory South India. When I click on the save, it's not getting saved. You can go and see here, what is the problem? It is giving status 415. <laughs> you have status codes, 200 OK, 500 internal server error, 415. What is that error also you need to find here? Fail to load the resource. You are unable to access the resource itself. Okay, so what is that? We need to find and we need to rectify this. I'm calling properly here offices. So here also it is offices and here also it is offices, but still not getting connected. It's not the correct resource it is saying here. Okay, so why it is not proper resource? You need to identify and you need to resolve that particular issue. If you go with the offices controller, okay, in the offices controller, fine, then here, put office, then post office here. So here in this case, It is giving some error. What is that error? We need to identify. We have like from body, from form like that we have. So you need to try appropriate one. Then it should save data in the database. So this is server side and this is here front end side. Using jQuery, we do it. Yeah, any questions in this? Okay, I think you don't have any questions. No. Hello, Fanny. Hello, Fanny. Yes, yes, you have a 